What's up, what's up, math experts? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in this video, we are still on derivatives. So, we are going to give one example for this video to be solved. So, let us find the differentiation of algebraic function. So, let us consider the algebraic function which takes the form of y is equals to 2x plus 5 times square root of the quantity of 4x minus 1. Okay, this will be the one that we are going to solve this uh, in this video. So, as you can see, uh, you can apply with this one the rule of the product rule uh, for the rule of differentiation. So, the product rule constitutes the form of the u, u times v is equals to u dv over dx plus v du over dx so this is now the product rule so in this video i assume that you're already familiar with the product rule on how to substitute or how to use this one so now since we have the product of two expression that is why we're going to uh, use the product rule since as you can see the two functions differentiable functions 2x plus 5 and 4 square root of 4x minus 1 uh, is being multiplied uh, you can use product rule so if the function takes the form like this you uh, directly use product rule so let us have identify which of our uh, function is u and which is our v so our u in the given function is we have u is equal to 2x plus 5 and our v is equal to the square root of 4x minus 1 so now just simply follow the format of the product rule so we have dy over dx is equals to the derivative of our function 2x plus 5 times the square root of 4x minus 1 so our u and our v so now let us have derivative of the product of two expression or two function will take the formula of the product rule so we have our u is 2x plus 5 so write 2x plus 5 as we are going to follow the format of the product rule so u write u which is 2x plus 5 then derivative of our function v so we have times the derivative of our function v which is 4x minus 1 or the square root of 4x minus 1 plus v so write the function v which is 4x minus 1 times the derivative of the function u so which is takes the form of which takes the form of 2x plus 5 so now let us simplify and get the derivative of u and v so we have 2x plus 5 derivative of square root of 4x minus 1 so it will take we're going to use the power rule so we are going to convert that one to decimal i mean exponential and get the derivative so it will take uh, one half times uh, 4x minus 1 1 half minus 1 times the derivative of the inner expression which is 4x minus 1 okay plus square root of 4x minus 1 times derivative of 2x plus 5 that is only 2 because derivative of 2x is 2 plus derivative of 5 is 0 so 2 plus 0 that is 2 okay let us continue 2x rewrite 2x plus 5 so let us simplify this expression so we have 1 half times 4x minus 1 1 half so this uh, in this process we use the power rule so as you can remember power rule is the derivative of your u n so that will take u I mean n times u to the power of n minus 1. So here, our n is 
our ns one one half since this is the vertical i mean the radical sign so radical sign constitutes square root or in exponential form that is 4x minus 1 1 half so that is why minus 1 so just follow the format for the x uh, the power rule so now let us simplify so we have 1 over 2 times 4x minus 1 1 half times derivative of 4x minus 1 that is only 4 because derivative of 4x is 4 minus the derivative of 1 constant 1 that is 0 so 4 minus 0 that is 4 so don't be confused with this one why it looks like this because uh, the quantity of 4x minus 1 raised to the power of 1 half minus 1 that will become 4 the quantity of 4x minus 1 minus raised to the power of negative 1 half because 1 half minus 1 that is negative 1 half so since the expression is raised to negative power that should be constituted to you are going to convert to add i mean you are going to bring the expression into the denominator so like uh, for example we have x negative 2 so you are going to write that one as 1 over x squared so that is what happened to our expression here that is why our 4x minus 1 uh, transferred to the denominator side okay so let us continue with our expression so we have here plus square root of 4x so Min uh, square root of 4x minus 1 times 2, that is 2 square root of 4x uh, x minus 1. So now let us have uh, the simplification. So 2x plus 5, rewrite 2x plus 5 times 4 times uh, 2, uh, I mean 4 times 1, that is 4, divided by 2, that is 2, over 4x minus 1, 1 half plus we have 2 to the power of 4x minus 1 so let us simplify this one so combine we have 4x plus 10 all over 4x minus 1 1 half plus 2 square root of Four x minus one. So, since we have here the denominator is four x minus one, one half. So we can rewrite this one as four x plus ten, uh, square root of four x minus one, plus two square root of four x minus one. So the same. Uh, this is the exponential form, and this is the radical form of the expression so they are all the same these two quantity here so let us proceed so let us get the lcd which is to simplify the expression let us uh, use the lcd which the least common denominator for x minus 1 so we have 4x minus 1 divided by 4x minus 1 that is 1 times 4x plus 10 that will become 4x plus 10 plus 4x div, uh, this is assumed to be automatically denominator is 1 so 4x square root of 4x minus 1 divided by 1 that is square root of 4x minus 1 times 2 square root of 4x minus 1 that will become 2 times 4x minus 1 so the radical sign will be removed since uh, we are multiplying uh, expression with the same radicand okay so we have already can power or we have the same power so we have square uh, square root so multiplying two square roots will become uh, what will be left is the expression inside the square root sign so we have here 4x plus 10 plus 2 times 4 minus 1 that is 8x minus 2 so all over square root of 4x minus 1 so combine like terms 4x plus 8x that is 12x 12x 10 minus 2 that is 8 so we have square root of 
4x minus 1. So next, we have the common, we have common between the two. We have 12, uh, we have the common factor between two, 12 and 8 is we have 4. So we have 4, uh, 12 divided by 4, that is 3x. I mean 12x divided by 4, 3x plus 8 divided by 4, that is 2. Then all over square root of 4x minus 1. So that is now, since we can no longer simplify this one, so we can say or we can tell that this is already the derivative of the given function defined by y is equals to the quantity of 2x plus 5 times the square root of 4x minus 1. So by using the product rule, so we obtain the derivative which is equals to 4 times the quantity of 3x plus 2 all over the square root of 4x minus 1. So math experts, thank you for watching. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to discuss another example. So I hope you uh, subscribe my YouTube channel so that you can follow another uh, for more examples. Thank you and God bless more um, math experts. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.